Well, if you think about it, um, it's sad but true that most rappers are black. Most people who own the industry are white, right? It's sad but true that most people who believe in Jesus Christ are brown. They happen to speak Spanish, but or, or a Latin-based language in Latin South America, Central America, the Caribbean, and yet that particular religion is controlled completely by European people. You know, it, it's interesting to know about the Catholic religion, Catholic religion, Christianity in general. For once, we're coming into our own and we're realizing that since we supply the power for all this, we should have control. And I think that I, I personally applaud black people when I see them taking control of their own community. And I don't see a reason why they wouldn't applaud us taking control of our own community. I mean, California is our community. You know, it's our country before they decide to settle there and dip themselves into guacamole. And now they're mad because they can't get it off them. You know, that's just what it is. It's northern California. I mean, it's northern Mexico. Uh, some people may look at that with disdain or some cynicism uh, and act as if I'm saying it to try and hype the crowd. I, I, I say it because it's true. I, I think that the interesting thing to bring it back home is that Malcolm X was murdered around the time he started diversifying his message to not be so race-centered but be more about classism, which is really when he was murdered around that particular time when he started mentioning hey look how much we have in common with that poor latino immigrants or you know what i mean even with poor white people that get treated bad by the system you know what i mean it, obviously we have it worse but when you look at it from that perspective you know that if we can identify with people who have the same face as our oppressor who are in the same rough economic situation with each other, we should be able to identify with ourselves. Because in all truth, a lot of Latino people are black. You know what I mean? A lot of black people are Latino and they don't even know it. You know, and I mean, even myself, you know, I have I have African blood in me that I'm very proud of on my mother's side. You know, my grandfather's blacker than pepper, you know, and it is but my my mother always raised me to never be ashamed of my African roots the same way I, I've seen a lot of Latinos being, you know what I mean, real denying of themselves. And I think when you come into that, you start to realize where that racism comes from and how it's a part of colonialization since way back in the day. You know, we're taught to, you know, hate black people, you know, and they're, they're taught to resent us. And if you can keep oppressed people fighting each other, I mean, that's the, that's the beauty of the situation, you know, for them at least. When you've got two problems, you put them together and you let them solve each other. You know, it's worked in the past for America. Militant black movement. Communist Vietnam, hmm, let's draft all these militant socialist black people, send them to go fight all these communist Asian people. Perfect solution, you know. So now that they have a problem, they have a growing constituency of Latino people who have the power to vote, and they have black people who are becoming more entrepreneurs in, in terms of their business, they're going to pit them against each other so they can seem as if they have the only solution to our problem, playing that Tarzan role again. Like we need you in the fucking jungle, man. Get the fuck out of here.